The most common way that digital nomads earn money while they're away is by working freelance. And working freelance is great. You can get all your work over the internet, you set your own hours, and all you really need is a laptop and Wi-Fi, and you can simply do the job whenever you get the opportunity or whenever you have a moment or you can perhaps set time aside to do it. It's up to you. It's a completely free type of lifestyle. So let's take a look at the sort of freelance work that you can do from anywhere. And the first one, and I suppose the most common type of freelance work is freelance writing. And you can do freelance article writing, freelance copywriting, freelance screenwriting. You can do ebook writing and you can do transcriptions. People can send you something over the internet as an MP3 and you can listen to it and type it up and send it back. And you can do all this pretty much anywhere. All you need is a quiet corner of a coffee shop or something like that. Something else that you can do freelance from anywhere is web design. So you can do web design in WordPress. You can design WordPress themes if you have the software. You can do PHP or HTML. Again, all you need is your laptop and a means to communicate with your customer. Then you can do coding. And, you know, lots of people do coding you can do website coding, you can do apps, you can do software development, and this is actually one of the most common things that people can do because it's all done uh, on your computer and you can simply send it over the internet to your customer. Then there are graphics, and provided that your laptop is powerful enough, of course, and has the right sort of... Uh, graphics card in it. You can do things like web graphics, video graphics, and you can do either 2D or 3D animation for videos from your laptop. Photoshop, of course, is something that you can do very easily from your laptop. Also, print graphics and things like logos and those sort of things. And you can do videos. You can make a slideshow video like this one from your laptop. All you need is to have the right software. And if you're traveling, well, you can do travel videos. Travel videos for customers, uh, travel videos that you can then sell yourself. You can shoot stock footage. Sometimes if somebody is making a video and they need to get a particular shot of where you happen to be, then it's cheaper for them to hire you to go out and film it rather than for them to send a whole film crew out there to cover it. So you can do that and you can sell stock footage to stock footage libraries as well who will then sell it on to other producers. And of course, if you're going to be in one place for a particular length of time, you can shoot news footage if something happens, if there's an event, you know, particularly an unplanned one like a fire or an earthquake or something like that. You can film that and send it on to news organizations who can pay quite handsomely for that. Or you could also be what's known as a stringer, which is someone who happens to have a deal with a news organization that if something happens where they happen to be, then they will video it and send it to that particular news organization. Then you can do translations, of course. And there's several ways you can do this. You can do translations over the internet where people will send you things to be translated. Or you can do translation locally if you're going to be in one place for long enough and you've got contacts and connections in the uh, town or city or country where you're staying and you speak the local language. You can translate from the local language into English and vice versa. And this can be either written or oral translation. Now, there are a few different sites where you can look for freelance work. And the first one is Upwork, 
which you can find here at upwork.com and it explains how it works here when you click on this link you can also go to freelancer which is freelancer.com and both of them work on a similar principle somebody posts a job that they want filled and you bid against other freelancers for it and the uh, person who's commissioning the job uh, would decide who they want to do the job for them and um, the, the website takes a cut of the fee if what you're doing is anything to do with marketing or copywriting or web design or that sort of thing it's a good idea to take out an ad on the warriors for hire section of the warrior forum as you can see they've got lots of people here advertising things like marketing and professional copywriting and that sort of thing and you can advertise your services here and on this site I think you do actually have to be a paid member to place an ad in the warriors for hire section and on this site you basically advertise your services and the buyers come to you rather than you having to bid on a job that other people are competing against so just a few ways that you can find freelance work while you're on the road for more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.